Hello everybody and welcome to this new episode of this Lumion course in where we are gonna see this last option of the main menu. It is called weather. Once we click on it, we can find these all different tools. If we start from the left to the right, we will find here this window where we can select clouds. So I will click on it and here I have several skies. If I want it clouded, I could choose this one. And then as you can see, the sky is much more cloudy. I will come back to my first sky here, mainly because I want to see the sun. Below this window, we notice that here we have this label. We can read real skies. Now it is turned off, but I can turn it on just clicking here and then the sky has changed completely. You have to know that we are using here what is called HDRI map. This is a high resolution map used mainly for doing skies and it covers 360 degrees that means all the sky sphere as you can see the good thing about these skies is that our project is using its illumination so the sky is illuminating everything here and creating the shadows we can even move the sky using this tool here through this cycle we will be able to move around all the sky and put the sun wherever we want and the shadows will change according to the position of the sun. The weakness here lays on the fact that with these maps, with these real skies, we can't change the height of the sun. We can move the sun around the sky sphere, but the height will not change in any case. Height is fixed like it is said in this level. But this is not a big issue because here we have more real skies, so we can choose the one that fits with our requirements in terms of the height of that sun. For example, if we want our project in the morning, we should go here to morning, morning 3, and then the sky will be much lower. If we want, for example, to create a sunset atmosphere, then I'll click here, I'll choose for example this one, and we will enjoy this kind of light, and of course we will be able to change the rotation. Anyway, a part of this we have these three sliders, here we can control the sky brightness and we can even adjust the wind direction and the wind speed. Of course, these options will be interesting just in case that we are doing an animation. Finally, you have to take into account as well that this real skies consumes a lot of resources of our graphic card because of its high resolution. So we can turn it off and just use it for the final render. In case we are not using the real skies, we will be able to adjust the sun height or in other words, the hour of the day. We will do that through this semicircle and it works like that. If I put the sun here at the beginning of the semicircle, it means that the sun is at its highest level. It is on the top of the day. It could be more or less 12 o'clock. It is placed right now at the top of the sky sphere. And if I move it to the right side, then the sun will gradually move down till we get to this frontier, which actually could be either the sunrise or the sunset. I have to release the button for having a better look about what is going on. And here we are. In case I move farther to this frontier, then night would come. And the more to the right I go, the darker the night is. So let's move the sun here and let's leave it in that position. Now without the real skies we have as well these sliders, the sun brightness, the wind speed, the wind direction and now we have this another bar called cloudiness. Here we can adjust easily how cloudy the sky is moving this bar to the right if we want more clouds or moving it to the left if we want a clear sky. And that is all that we can do here in the weather category. In any case, I would like that you are aware of the fact that all these changes that we have done here in this menu, in the weather menu, are not final, are not definitive. Actually, we will work much more better here, inside the photo menu and inside the movie menu. Here we will arrange the weather independently for each photo, for each project, and we'll be able to create even more effects like rain, snow, etc. So once this is clear, I will say goodbye and I hope to see you in the next class.